Howdy there, folks, and welcome back to uh, my first kind of, uh, yeah, no, not kind of, but the first full campaign, or at least I think it's going to be a full campaign here on uh, Whiskey and Lemons, and we're doing our career mode. We're stuck up here, almost in Buffalo, New York. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that, and uh, yeah, if you see this, I guess that means that most of the changes that have come through have been okay. What happened was, is after episode five, not that anybody cares, but there was a bunch of updates, a couple patches, hot fixes, whatever. And so it was incompatible, but I think I found the files that made it incompatible, and I think it's compatible. So if you see this, that means that, uh, well, we made it work, and uh, it's still going as well as this playthrough can go for anyone right now. Uh, but we're pretty much waiting on Beauregard to get his readiness together, and we're going to go from there. Over here i mean what can we do right we're out of supply we have good initiative now i notice we have a fair amount of money and honestly i don't really i feel like i don't really care that much about money prestige uh i could do better right? so this would increase initiative and order delays well it's already going we could do a little bit better that'd be about 20 percent that's 10.3 over 8.6. I think most of these guys, I think the worst guy I had, and he wasn't bad, was Walker. And see, he's got 40 plus 42 for his ammo. I mean, I don't I don't feel like it's worth 147 prestige to go up that little bit. <laughs> I don't know about putting James B. Gordon in as, as ordinance. I feel like there are other uses there. So I was not done. I was not, I don't, I'm still getting used to the controls here for, for whiskey and lemons. Uh, I've got to get rid of <laughs> this lady. I don't know if I can, but I, I, I think we need to. I'm a little concerned that being this far out of supply. Now, I think this is new because we got that Sam Elliott looking character. Uh, I don't need to increase my initiative, so I don't need that. But I'm worried that we're going to... Yeah... I mean, with this one, what I found in the past is that it takes so long that usually the army has kind of figured out how to do stuff before that that goes through. Although I actually have four units, but I, I, I don't know how I feel about that one. What would this do? Increase the experience of infantry under your command. That would definitely help. Uh, I don't have enough prestige to do it. What can I do over here? I can trade money. So what I found is that actually this bakery thing, which I thought was kind of a joke, and I guess it kind of is, but... I like to role play that it's it's helping people, but it also brings in about what is that eleven hundred no six hundred dollars a year added to my my salary. So I, I guess that's not terrible. And to pay two fifty for another take, I don't know. I don't know if it actually helps the troops at all. So reconcile. I don't care about that. Reassurance. Too many. I definitely have had too many incidents. Uh, encouragement. I am a social outcast. I don't know that I actually want to do anything about it, though. Political rally would be more influence. This means siding with the Democrats' prestige increase. So what is this? This is a thousand dollars for a thousand prestige. Um. Okay. And what is this? This is a thousand dollars to increase fame by one. Huh. Huh. I think for now, I'm going to try to increase my administration for 500. And, uh, let that sit there. Yeah, that's where I am. What is this? Grand review. So, what would, this would have cost a thousand prestige. So, alright. I don't know. I don't know that I would want to been prestige that way but we'll go ahead and, and try to increase our administration for, for what that is worth and I don't know how big the cav regiments can get I think it's hold on I th thought it was maybe 500 I'm, I'm debating about whether I should just send them home and see how long it, how long is it going to take for them to come uh-oh, three months? Yeah, I'm not going to do that with my infantry then. Maybe over the winter I would do that, but I ain't going to do it now. So, we'll uh, 
Glorious victory at Jasper. Sure. But yeah, I, I, I suspect out of supply and in the red readiness, we're just going to kind of have to to hang out, which I know isn't that fun. We can, until we're, we're prompted to do something, we can take a look at what's going on. We still have these Union pockets here, and, and they're circling the capital. Uh, siege combat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Continue. Yes, yes, yes. But let's let's see. Can we actually do something? <laughs> An exciting day. We laid siege. Okay. We have different definitions of exciting. Oh, you know what? We probably can't do this because, uh, yeah, our readiness is too low. So whatever happens, happens here. And uh, so that's British Canada. For some reason, okay. Glorious victory at Dunkirk. i pretty sure. Yeah, it's us. Uh, yeah, if you say so. It, it, it is a bit odd. We have some southern armies far afield, and we haven't cleared out the interior. And it looks like there are just a lot of different forces down here. So, whatever. Did we get a hefty sum of prestige there? About the bad supply state. I mean, I don't know that I actually pay much of a penalty for being in a bad supply state, and I don't know that fixing my division would actually do anything for the army. And so... I kind of feel like, eh, just just let it go. Uh, I feel like there's... <laughs> uh, so if, you've seen, if you watch the campaign, this is now at least the third time my spouse has given me food poisoning. Like, one of these days, she's going to get it right, and I, I'm going to be out. So, man, how many disasters at Jasper do we need to have? Yeah. My ability to command is impaired. Uh, actually, I think my leadership went up. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see. I got to think about the next move here after study logistics. I mean, I know my personality is is the problem, right? The whole hermit thing. But uh, well, influence is kind of related to that. But I kind of rather the troops just be good. And maybe they should focus on infantry specialists. I mean, it will make them better fighters. I think they're also going to expect a really good commander, uh, which is not me. Uh, right? This is mediocre at best. At best, guts. And honestly, my, my profile right now is is pretty much that. Except we just have a ton of initiative. We are somehow aggressive, and yet we don't have that much cunning. We're not. But you know, actually, I'm comparing me to others, and I don't know how I'm ranked this low, because I think this is what you actually achieved. And like it's right, it says three stars on me. I think I don't know. They don't. I don't think they rank divisions, do they? I don't. I don't think so. Now maybe I should have given them some supplies. Yeah. So the divi. Yeah. So there's no unit history. Okay. Uh, but there should be. Right? I mean, they're four already. They're three already. They're three already. I don't know. Maybe unit XP is too high in here. I think some of the other brigades are... Well, like, Parsons Brigade isn't, though. DeRosie's is really good, though. They're good. Yeah, maybe... I don't know. It's two. It's more than two years into the war, so maybe that's right. You've just finished your logistics studies. Okay. Uh, nice. So we got better admin. <sighs> yeah, but more initiative isn't, like I said, it's not going to help me. It does say you and your officer corps, but it looks like the only bit that matters is, uh, or that bleeds over is kind of that. Study operations. So... I, I tried this before, and I think I actually can play this. I thought they said that you could only do, like, one of these, but I tried to do others, and it seemed to work. Yeah, again, initiative we don't need to do. Leadership? Yeah, probably, but I I don't know. What was the other one? Tactics, right? This would be the cunning one, which I feel like when I'm if I'm doing it, the cunning just never really seems that important to me. So, use your own personal prestige to raise money. I would not do 200 prestige unless I just had a ton of prestige. And I don't even have 500 prestige. 
But you do that for a thousand. So this is two hundred dollars to get three hundred dollars. Eh, doesn't feel worth it. Buy stocks. So this actually isn't terrible. I wish I had done this one earlier though. Because you make your money back. Yeah, actually over the long term, this is actually a good one. I should not have done bakery sales at all. But I'm role playing it like I'm just some... I Honestly, they gave me too much too much money. I, I, I should not have done that well. Fame and fortune. Yeah, we, we ain't going to spend our money on that. I'd rather spend it on... Honestly... Let's just increase the bakery sales. I wonder what, what happens when I take this a second time. And then we'll probably do infantry specialists. I feel bad that Beauregard keeps running our, our army out of food. or He's losing battles, and that's where he ends up. But I feel like an officer that's ranked as high as he is ought to be doing much better. I should be losing so much. You see, there's just way too many armies. Uh, again, I, I've mostly aligned the battle of dunkirk that was us well i guess that's one way to get out of uh, buffalo hey maybe we'll fall all the way back to wheeling and fall into supply i i wonder if we're still close enough to be in supply though uh, it looks like we're being pursued huh. whatever and uh oh looks like we might get dragged into a fight here Oh no, Beauregard. How is Beauregard, with red readiness, able to advance in Union territory? I'm asking you, this is a recorded video, so I, yeah, I don't know how to get the answer. Unless they were retreating that way. Alright, so we know we're retreating. Condition alert is terrible. Yeah, I, I don't see the benefit of getting my men, except for role-playing reasons, which is largely what I'm doing, but And then by the time you get up to core, it's not going to supply enough to actually matter. So, yeah, you guys should probably move here and see what what will happen for you. So, cores apparently get these units. And cores get perks. Uh, but other things don't. Actually, bakery sales monthly... I believe that's so it costs two fifty to do and make our money back in other ways. Uh, yeah, let's study infantry tactics here. We'll help. Oh, I can't. It's five hundred prestige. Too bad. I kind of like that one. That would definitely be a nice one to help people with. Uh, Seven fifty for. All right, let's see if Beauregard, can we, oh, this is still one of those things that just annoys me that you can't always click right through and find out. Can't get information from different armies that are on top of each other unless you click in and then you kind of zoom in and then double click. Anyways, I enjoy watching the front lines. I think it's the coolest, probably the coolest filter to, to get a sense as to what's going on. And just some of the craziness, right? So They are really circling Montgomery, though. We are defending it. Better than I think they're defending Washington. Right? This is very odd. Uh, I think the overall war is also very odd. I mean, their morale is just skyrocketing. And these are the same prefs as before, except I had to add some lines that they added in the new update, so I don't know what... We'll, we'll see what's going on here, and uh, why I have more men fielded than they, I have no idea. But we can always fix that if the campaign goes too long. Alright, that's why things aren't moving fast, it's because <laughs> they're at 1x. That actually makes a lot of sense. Did we really just get beat out of here, too? Yikes. So that's them. This is Beauregard. 
That's going to be rough if we lose the supply depot and wheeling. I don't think anybody will think to burn it, but we just cannot get our readiness back. We're stuck in the red for a month and a half now. I don't know if Beauregard has some sort of enemy on the other side that is like just coming for him or what. Yeah, man, they're coming for Beauregard again here, and he just cannot get his readiness back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this? Has us trenching or pursuing? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, maybe it's from this? Not sure. But it would be nice to get into, into something here. Uh, I think Montgomery's like, even though I don't see any Union armies down here, this is a pocket of blue. That is in danger. All right, Bori, we are waiting on you. Harper's Ferry Bridge, but you are in, barely in the orange. You should not have to... Re oh, my God. I don't know why they're going up to Pittsburgh. I mean, I guess we could explain it that, you know, they're trying to divert Union forces here. Disaster at Pittsburgh, which is, you know, probably should have a disaster there. See how... Uh-oh. I was going to say, see how the uh, money is coming. Yeah, so I don't know if the bakery sales have stopped. Or what? I thought there were only two takes of it last time. Which is weird that it says that there's three. This is wealth one out of two. So I, get, I guess that means I could do another one. I mean, that is a good long-term one, so I guess we'll just do that one. And then education, I mean, we could add a second one here. I probably should think about a personality one. It's definitely the worst of my traits, but... All right, maybe, just maybe, we'll get to join this battle over here when the Army of New Jersey comes in. Beauregard doesn't have yellow readiness yet. See, the Union, even with smaller forces, is just... Yeah, absolutely beating us. And neither side has really gone... Government is in a crisis. Our credit rating is deteriorated. They're carrying off offensive operations. I don't know how they are. Ramsers, Ramsers, core. All right, good to, good to know. Well, they're actually not. They are. Oh, they didn't take Wheeling either. I don't think we were just involved in that auto resolve. Doesn't look like it. Army of the Cumberland. For what that is worth is coming up this way. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. So, yeah, famous last words. I think it should be easy enough. All right, this is us. We get to defend. We have friendlies nearish by. That's, that's how you say it officially. Apparently our division is only. Oh, Hughes is also back, and basically, it didn't make any sense to send him out to replenish. That's what it looks like. Uh, I did not before I pressed play assault. Okay. It's an odd thing to do in defense mode. Uh, they want us to assault that corner. Yeah, I'm not actually sure we're going to get there in time, but uh, let's see what we can do. How are we going to get there? So those roads are... I 
think we want to get over here. I think we'll try to get here. We'll do that. So I guess the division does have rank, but it just they just can't get perks. Huh. But we chose a pretty good endpoint. Um Hmm. End of the day is gonna come. I would say let's let's line up over here. That'll be our new endpoint. I know it's not what we were ordered to do, but Beauregard doesn't doesn't understand that the situation has changed. And and maybe we use we got to do something about this zoom speed. We use this death lay. We might be able to get below it. Let's do it while we're here. Battlefield scroll and zoom. Yeah, we'll try to get over here and then advance below this hill, and then we'll try to come up and over and see what we get. It. Yeah, it's not, nighttime is not coming. It's just that it's 4 a.m. and that's why everything is dark. Okay, that's not mine. And apparently the thing is that even though Beauregard hasn't changed his order, it seems, okay, now he's figured it out. All right, very good, very good. So actually, yeah, kind of where we were aiming to be, that should be okay. I think originally we were on the right of the line, but I think that brigade is going to be in a world of trouble. All right, we reached our combat zone. That's okay. That's not mine. Clark's brigade, Cooper's brigade. Uh, yeah, you. Okay, we got to turn off. That's right. This is. We don't want to see ranges. I don't want to see icons. Uh, Fog of War is okay. I don't want that. I don't want that. Honestly, I don't even really like those. Does it show on the map? Well, maybe I have to keep that on. But otherwise, I want to fight decluttered as much as possible. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Clark is one of mine. I'm going to get them all set up like this and we're gonna eventually detach the calf by eventually I mean we'll do that now I mean these friendly brigades should move I this was oh it's Preston Smith I thought it was cock for some reason interesting so it seemed like every well at least two of those brigades got prestige for reaching the combat zone oh each one of them did oh that seems a little easy to do all right we're gonna do a quick condition check uh that shouldn't be part of mine I assume they're okay. Yeah, they're okay. That's not mine. That is. That rings a bell. Is Chilton? I think Cooper is. I really don't remember. It has been a while. No, we didn't even get into battle. Uh, this is disappointing, but it actually makes makes a lot of sense. All right, well, 
we'll see what we can do here. I would not count on it being very much. Oh wait, can we, can we? Can we go attack those guys? I mean, take them prisoner. Why don't I see my cab anymore? I don't like that. Uh, am I forgetting where this whole... Oh, yeah I am. It's right there. Alright, it's a bad spot for him, so just send them in there. Just go for them, then. No, for real. Like, yeah, don't go, don't go in there, man. Here, yeah, we're gonna order. We'll order them up. I I think it's probably too little too late, but... We'll fight their rear guard. No. I see them coming in. Okay, they broke. That's fine. We'll try for them. Yeah, I think that whole rear guard stuff is folly. Wow, we took a lot more casualties, but I think everybody was just kind of squaring up, not really waiting for our whole force to get there and kind of just engaging. But when you outnumber them, what was that, almost three to one? You can get away with kind of sloppy, less than stellar tactics. It actually did see, say, hold on, let's screenshot this. Now I've become a national hero. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. But uh, hopefully this, this carries through. So This is better than uh, laughing stock, right? It, it, and why on earth did I become a national hero for that? Right? I mean, it's not like I wasn't trying, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> that That's a thunker. A real thunker. A victory in battle. How does my prestige not go up a lot more? Rumor statement, Major General Jackson's Jackson's army are intercepting enemy units near Grafton. Well, good for Jackson Jackson's. And let's go 50x, because we don't have to think more than that. I was going to say, isn't it? It feels like it might be time for promotion soon. I can now do a division, a corps, or an army. You know, hold on. I'm wondering if it's time to take over Beauregard's. It, it's just not working. Beauregard's core. How much would that cost? Oh boy! We got a lot of work we got to do to get that. Uh, yeah, we only need about 7,000 more prestige. So, well, we got to actually get in battle long enough for it to, to happen. And uh, I'm not sure that's going to happen. All right, they got 2,000 each. I mean, we got a fairly beefy group. But I don't think there's too much more we can do with actions. We can trade some money for prestige, but it's, it, it, yeah, not going to be enough. Wonder where we are on this whole thing. Rank progression, 2%. Well, I'm at Major General, and I'm listed 50th. And again, like, somehow I'm legendary with, Almost three stars out of five. I feel like that would be a lot. Leadership is distinguished. Admin is too predictable. 
cunning. I really don't care about the cunning thing. It, it just seems odd. Uh, I can't remember if I'm doing an action or not. I am. I'm doing the stocks. 51 days. Army of New Jersey's here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did Beauregard move? He's been teaming up with Poor the Polk the entire war. Well, the Army of New Jersey should lose that. That's Lomax's. Oh, we're over here. We are on the march to liberate Maryland. Yes, yes. Uh. All right, so we have a problem here. All right. I know what the problem is. But I didn't have this problem earlier in the campaign. It's that both sides have taken a lot of POWs. Is that really what's driving theirs up as well? Well, it's only going to tell me mine. Battles have actually been worse for us than them. Town occupations have been worse for us. State support has been better for them. I don't... Well, I guess that's why we're behind. I keep forgetting they don't have us winning this. Uh... Yeah, I, I would, I would want to command this. Yeah. All right. I wanted to come in this because it's close enough we might win. And it's weird that the reinforcement thing doesn't seem to matter. The good news is that we do get to defend. And if this... I hate these corner cat camp maps. Even when I get to defend on them, I don't like them. Uh, so is this... Yeah. I don't actually remember fighting on this one. So anyways, let's press play. It's late in the day. It's only a three-pointer, but it looks like if we hold defend location, done. Done and done. Uh, we don't have any artillery. And what I want to do is, where is my group? Yeah, I don't hate that because we're going to detach the cav. And I'm going to send them. I guess the other thing kind of stinks for the. I guess they have to pretty much come this way. It might be smarter to actually. Eh, I don't know. Maybe defend up there. But this looks like the lone road that they take in. And actually, that's the, the key crossing, I think. Because there's no road from their direction that really comes down here. They'd have to take the road down and then get out. So. Anyways, we'll, we'll see. I'm not going to do the, the whole Dan Sickles thing. Because I don't think that there's better ground in front of us. I just think that there's just more of it. Uh, but there's okay defensive ground that, that, to me, would make sense to take. Uh, Alright, so I've moved up here. I guess Hughes has not yet moved up here. So we're going to try to get him moving up. Uh, to my unit back here, or my unit's back here. We don't do too much of this anymore. No, I did the wrong thing. So you get to work on that. Uh, Clark, you are mine. Yeah. And so we're going to have you also put the spade to work. And Chilton, I believe you're mine as well. I don't know about the rest of these forces, man. Yeah, we're going to put you to work over there and eventually kick out the skirmishers. 
I'm okay with two in the front, one in the back for the actual fighting. But let's at least try to get these up. Holding up here in the forest is not it's not a terrible move, man. Alright, but we don't want to just watch this, and if nothing happens soon, I'm going to put you on pause and bring you back. When something happens, I'm worried about line of sight moving through the uh, wooded areas here. Alright, so to spare you from this and uh, try to keep it interesting, I'm going to put you on pause. Okay, so Nightfall came, they pushed us back. Oh, Beauregard redeployed us back. So that's an... I can now see... Oh, that's a routing unit. I don't know how a routing unit got here first from their side, but they did. Anyways, uh, we apparently either during the day or over the course of the evening, they just finished our breastwork. So I'm marching my division to go back up in the breastworks. These divisions are hanging out down here in a way that they're not useful. McCullough over here... It... No, it, it, it's really not worth it. Because if you have to fall back, you are now, you have, what? It looks like a one-division army. I mean, if you get sandwiched and knocked out, you either got to flee off the map, or it's very difficult to withdraw through this bottom line. It's true that my division and forest division could at least, in theory, support that withdrawal, try to attack them here, and, hey, look at that! Continue to the uh, objective. Yeah, don't, don't don't mind if I do. All right, yeah, we're pushing him or pushing Hughes up. And let's see, Chilton is going there. Cooper's going there. Clark, my goodness, if there's more brigade commanders with last name C, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I I really don't. Anyways, but yeah, I I don't know about this. Uh, let's see. We'll give our guys, I guess, medium range. And we'll tell them to kick out skirmishers. But I may go back and repause you just because we're, we're still waiting to make contact here. So somehow, uh, as is always the case with this game, as soon as I put you on pause, then something happens. So uh, somehow Richardson's brigade came through here and I think surprised me. Certainly. So we're going to withdraw Hughes back to... Well, actually, no, now that they're breaking, I'm just going to stop you and... Yeah, we're just going to have you keep moving up. Uh, but we're over here, and it looks like they should have more than enough to deal with Richardson's Brigade. I just don't know what else is there. So... Uh, let's see. Clark. Yeah, his skirmishers came with him. Cooper, Chilton, where the heck are your skirmishers? Guess he didn't put any out. All right, so now we found them. And Sherman looks like he's about to break as it is. We're going to get Hughes back. That's what we wanted to know. And there's somebody else behind them. We're a little bit ahead here on the, the top line bar. Uh, I do hope that they kind of, yikes, support friendly unit. Yeah, no, we're not, we're not going to do that. Uh, they don't need it. What they need to do is advance and to wipe that unit out. Okay, Hughes is just going to watch him. Again, Beauregard is doing, I guess it's not under his command, so I don't blame him too much. But it's nice that we'll have friendlies up on the left. But my goodness, man. See, this is an actual Cav Brigade, I believe. And why they're not dealing with Richardson, I have no idea. But now Beauregard's kind of getting it, whether he means to or not. Yeah, like the the, the, the play. Are you guys in the orchard? No, let's, let's try to move them up and see if we can get some cover. I don't know that you'll actually get covered in the orchard. I don't think so. 
uh, and I don't need I don't need Hughes to actually make a stand there. That's not it's not a big enough group. It's not going to do anything. Uh, but we'll withdraw Hughes. You know, maybe maybe actually what we do with them is we send them over here, try to harass them, see if they'll they'll cross there. Look at this guy. Look at him go. He's moving so fast, he's not even touching the ground. So anyways, there, there's that. I don't think you're supposed to be able to zoom in that low, so that, that's probably it. They are... Yeah, it's it's OP, I, I admit, but they're going to be able to shoot real long range standing at the top of their breastworks. Uh, it's not the cover you would assume, uh, but yeah, it's 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 just more cheese tactics, right? That's, that's all I do. All right, so we're not going to get you don't get covered in an orchard apparently, but you do get it in a forest, and I think the forest part is up here. But anyways, we're gonna throw our uh, some of our skirmishers over here and. Try to do something to disrupt Richardson. I feel like that should be a pretty easy easy break there. Cut off as he is. And with that, we could pretty much even the numbers on the battlefield. But let's speed it up a bit since... All right, but I guess even those skirmishers had... Yeah, they, they, they took the road over, so... And again, what we should be doing right now is attacking. This is a bottleneck. That's a bottleneck. only other thing I can think of not with Hughes who we're going to move back is that with our skirmishers is to try to draw out Richardson's group and get the rest of our force to engage I don't I don't know maybe that's that's what we do with these guys Yeah, it looks it looks super weird like this. I know. It was not like this before the last update, hotfix, whatever you want to call it. Can we actually shoot or no? Nah? Alright, let's bring it down to one X. Engage it well. Now that's that's not bad. Now they're exhausted, so actually it's a good thing we we're just gonna leave them right where they are. Uh, these guys, I don't think you need to move that close. Just want to draw Richardson up and try to get the rest of these to do something here, man. Yeah, absolutely. Fall back. That's fine. If we can get them to engage, uh, be engaged by our brigades, that's perfectly fine with us. Huh? How bad are we? We're not that bad yet. So let's move, and since we're skirmishers, we can run. Wish there were hotkeys or more hotkeys. Definitely would consider using those. That's too bad. I wanted to draw them up piecemeal and see if we could get them to go. All right, they're not going to make it, so we're just going to have them engage over there. Did I fatigue these guys? No. Uh, yeah, they're tiring. Which actually means if they're tiring, I, 
tired comes next, and then it just becomes this kind of snowball effect. Now, are they in a forest? They're not. That's too bad. Again, engage at will is the command. Everybody can do it. So they're about they're seven shots. They're going to be out soon. They're okay. Somehow that unit is in a forest. Okay, so is that unit. Yep, and just chase this unit all the way back. That's fine. Perfect. unit here. I guess we'll try to engage those skirmishers and see what we can do. Cooper. Alright, let's recall your skirmishers. Again. Bring these skirmishers back, or at least try to. And maybe we'll do the same for Clark. But now I think. Battle just seems very choppy. I don't know how else to describe it. It just seems very choppy. I mean, they'll get those skirmishers. It's fine. We're probably going to give up a lot of the casualties that we had gotten ahead with, but... Eh. We'll see how they do when they come out of it. They can charge my skirmishers. That's fine, but... We're going to have probably two and maybe eventually three brigades lined up and ready for them after that. No, no, no. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. What? Not sure what we're... Oh, did they route? They did. Excellent. Excellent. So, that means we can just cancel all this stuff. Cancel that movement. Cancel this one. Let's stay fresh. Okay. 
get myself back to safety. Keep our friendly cab nearby for the bonus. Now, friendlies actually move up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, you know, we, we, we change we change as the situation develops. But I think the move now is to... Yeah, engage something like that. We're going to bring our cab up in support. Is that mine? No, DeRosy is different. Well, DeRosy's kind of in the way, but... You know what? Just stop. We're getting all sorts of mixed up here. It ain't worth it. Is ours and tired. All right. Chilton is here. Maybe we can send Chilton through. That seems like it's closer than medium range. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. All right. And I guess Cooper's also coming up. All right. Too bad. I'm trying to find my flag here. Is this me? Yeah. Figures. Figures. I'm trying to find out how many, uh, how many casualties we've taken as a division. Now, so far it's not bad, but it's also not great. Alright, Hughes' regiment is more well rested. We're going to bring them up here for the moral support, or morale support. And uh, we have our battle line. As long as we can still fire while prone, I'm I'm gonna do it. We may just have Chilton lay down too. It's too bad that the largest brigade kinda has to sit back and reserve, but that's just the way it is. I really wish this force would do something. Just collapse on them, and then even if you want to cut into the back, I don't care, but do something, man. All right. All right, let's send Chilton in.
Unfortunately, we're starting to stick out here a bit. Clark is going to move up here, and what we're trying to do is hit this group while it doesn't have a whole lot of surface area, doesn't have a whole lot of room in, to maneuver, and maybe catch them, overwhelm them, route them before the rest of this force comes in. And we can control what we can control, and that's that's it. But if we can get them bunched up like this, it's going to be much harder for them to use the brigades in the back because they're going to be screened out by the friendly brigade, their friendly brigades in the front. That's the theory, at least. They're throwing seven brigades at one brigade that's over here, and they're not doing anything over this huge gap they've just created in our line. Well, outnumbered like this, There isn't really that much that's going to be done because most of our force is just wasted on other things. Uh, try to get Cooper to move back. Get our Cav to move back. And we'll pretty much just eat it. How Clark, I don't know who he is taking casualties from.
No, that's not at all what you were supposed to do. Drop their skirmishers. I'm gonna drop these skirmishers. Luckily, Holmes sent some skirmishers. Actually, his skirmishers kind of just fell in front of us. We're gonna send ours back up. But for, first of all, I don't know why that it took so many brigades to deal with. Second of all, they're in a great position to flank, and somewhere after that, we are gonna get absolutely steamrolled without support. So we will see which one of those that it is. to 25% casualties, I think. Oh, it's Chilton. He had more than the other two in the battle started. Jeez, Clark got whittled down as well. I don't know. I mean, these are my battle settings. It just seems like... It seems like a lot more casualties. But, y you know, I'm also used to playing on... Uh, Campaign 12, that was my weapons mod, and, uh... That, uh... That was dealing with far less accurate weapons. So in this amount of time, we wouldn't normally have seen this kind of, these kind of casualties. Right, I think Cooper's about to break, so we'll try to call them back before they do. If they're not, it's okay. Clark, same thing. Try to save them from routing. Unfortunately, we've left this brigade in the lurch, but they kind of needed to, to read the situation. But I'm predicting at this point a defeat with M McCullough or Little or whoever it is you want to pin the blame on. Uh, there's just not a lot. I mean, Tribute, Grayson are here, but Holmes needs to fall back with us. As does Brown. Uh, we'll send out new skirmishers to try to help Brown extricate himself, but we need to prepare this back line because I don't think there's too much else that's ready back here. Okay. Not sure what's up there, so we're just going to stop them. See, who are we missing? Chilton. Yeah, Chilton, you need to fall here. Okay, well, Grayson's skirmishers aren't mine. Could I actually take over come 36 prestige to take over those skirmishers? Doesn't feel worth it. Hold on. Oh, so they don't have skirmishers out. I thought they did. Uh, what is this? This is Chilton's. Oh, they're very tired because Chil Chilton is probably very tired, yeah. Alright, let's just, uh... They ain't gonna do anything up there. How are we? Intact and well-rested? That's great. Same thing with you guys, that's fine. We'll push them into the orchards. They don't give them any cover. That is what it is. Ooh, unfortunately, we are exhausted as well. All right, we're here. We have our cav. Hopefully, doing our cav thing. Yep, yep, yep. They're all in pretty good straits. Try to push these skirms up a bit further to add some support. But Brown is just going to get, I think, eviscerated. There's more lead coming in than going out. 
Yeah. If this is Forest Division, I mean, unless they've just worn themselves so completely out that they can't do anything. Maybe not court martial them, but McCullough. I mean, my goodness, man. Opportunities to get in the back door, come in and support, whatever you want. Alright, I guess we're still not up quite far enough to... Alright, maybe we'll just stop there, stop here. And we'll play the delay game as much as we can. So good. They can still fire and shoot. That's fine. That was a game we were actually doing pretty well at earlier. Surprising, on the march, they went from exhausted to very tired. Hmm. Surprises me, but now this is uncoordinated, so they're going to get thrown in. They got a wall of blue and lead that's probably not going to feel great. Uh, at least we're in the forest in prone. And we have high ground. I mean, for what that's worth. It's nice to see we're actually on that high ground. Or, not rather than floating above it. Well, some of them are. Or those are just relatively very tall men. Uh, what did I do here? Alright, so it's an ammo thing. That's alright, that's my fault. I've nerfed all, all the ammo of skirmishers as well as cavalry. Are they in range of the cab buff? I don't think they need it. No, they don't need it. But they do have it. Plinking people for a little bit of prestige, but again, it doesn't really matter. Still got less than a thousand. And we've paid for that prestige. We really... I guess I kind of regret keeping my uh, weapons mod in. I would love to get some vanilla Mississippis and just roll with those. So nice. These guys, I think, I think they have it pretty nice because I don't think they're taking shots. So they're just giving it, but not taking it. That's nice. We're going to just let them fire and do their thing, and then we'll recall them. It's so far that uh, it doesn't really make sense to bring them back until they've expended all their ammo. Yeah, unfortunately, Clark's Brigade is getting down to about a, about a single regiment. That might be another one that over the winter we send them back home and just <laughs> hope they come back and uh, come back with a lot more than they left with. Alright. Well, we are... Okay, you're not actually engaged, so stop thinking that you are. You're not. There you go. We'll try to lay down and see if that, that helps. Wow. I don't know how Brown has managed to stay here. And I don't actually know why they're staying there. Clark's starting to take casualties. Bring him back. My goodness, these skirmishers still haven't got back, but I think it's going to be the parent unit they pull from. Not other things. Now, it says cover is not behind breastworks. That's weird. Uh, I do like the foliage, though. I think we are, we're still in September? Nope, early October. Of 63. So, you know, real life, I'm uh, pretty sure we're just a bit later than Chickamauga. 
This is a big old mess. Uh, I don't know how that brigade... I, I hope that's not the brigade we were chasing before. We sent seven of our brigades after. Whoever they are, they're looking pretty confident because they're coming in with... Bayonets out against a bunch of CSA who are just standing there. And they have some skirmishers rather than the brigade shooting at them. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, Brown, you gotta kinda extricate yourself from that one. That ain't what I'm doing. I think if they're laying down, they'll stop trying to be engaged. And that's a good thing. But yeah, my goodness, man. <laughs> this is rough. It's just good that they have some brigades that have isolated themselves, but for the most part, this is a very good push. It's certainly a better push than a, a defense on our side. Uh, objective points have helped a bit, considering that morale is pretty low. I guess for their numbers, they're not in the, the greatest morale position, so that's rough. Alright, we'll send them up over there, we'll send them up over there. But yeah, you can see that there still is a lot of Union that's cut off. If we could concentrate, we would, uh, we'd be okay. And it looks like they're going to break Howard. Uh, probably got to be, uh-oh, Howard, right? Well, we can't find out, but I'm pretty sure. And then maybe Forrest will be able to do something. I, I don't know how much offensive utility we can really put out anymore, but... We can certainly try to make a show of it. Yeah, that... Whoever that was, Brown or whoever. But maybe one way we get the rest of this army to do something is by just letting them roll up on them. It's the worst way to do it, but... I'm just debating whether we lay down or not. What's this here? Okay, so they're advancing behind skirmishers. That's not mine either, so that's really good. I'm glad they're doing that. I like that. I don't know if these skirmishers... Okay, they are firing. That's good. Again, it would be probably best if they could withdraw them before they route so that there isn't the morale penalty, but that's reasonable. I'm gonna mount up my cav and move them out and move myself with them. I'm gonna try to give a morale buff to some friendlies up here who are doing the fighting. Oh, those 3D models. When that mod comes back, it's going to be glorious. I hope. Yumi has a very good clenched fist here. Chilton's at the point where he can almost contribute skirmishers as well. Alright, so they dealt with Howard. Maybe Force will get them reoriented. They may also just... Now, they haven't moved around in Force that much. Usually I would say maybe that messed with their... 
Yeah, they're pretty compact. It, it's not really a case of uh, loss of organization. There's my old 5th Brigade. Uh, a large regiment at this point. A really large, large regiment. That's too bad. Alright, Cooper and Clark are doing their thing. Oh, okay, and then Holmes's brigade is there. Alright. These two brigades are stick. Oh, there's a third brigade, isn't there, behind them? And a fourth there, and maybe some more there. That is a lot of Union, man. Maybe they can come in here and fill this gap. Alright, so now we got now we got a line. Well, almost a line. Sheffield's cab could certainly move up. Maybe we have to send these guys up. Maybe we have to send ours up. I hate fighting there though. It's just... Feels like we're gonna get butchered. We're giving up good cover, prepared works that they would have to come out of in order to engage us. Um, trying to look at what's going on on the left. Still got... They have maybe three brigades ready to go in, but I kind of feel bad leaving Tribune and Holmes out there. Alright. Let's call them back. Let's get ready to move. I really don't want Clark in the fight. I mean, this is going to be the end of my division here. This ends up being a prolonged affair. Send those two up front and maybe at we'll put Clark there, but swear we're all what what is this man? Maybe we're just playing to hold the uh Hold the objectives and beat them, beat them that way. Not a terrible idea.
Whoa, look at this. Oh my goodness, that group was moving. skirmishers out. We're going to advance at the double. Putting poor Chilton back in. Tribute, I came up here to help you, but you don't seem to be doing too much. firing, that'd be great. Yeah, they looked a bit undersized. They could use another brigade either coming in here or repositioning there. There's something bugged with prestige events because if you can take over skirmishers for like 36 prestige, which is not worth it, why would you get an entire brigade for 50? But again, in this playthrough, I, I, I'm trying to resist the temptation to try to take over other people's commands and just instead just role play it through. Alright, so, Cooper's in position, that's great, there they are, and Clark, oh, you might hate this, but we gotta move you up Yeah. we gotta move that cab over to here. Alright, we'll go on board here with Cooper, it's not a bad position for parts of this brigade. Now our left is up in the air. The hope was that by coming in we might also flank this brigade and force... Uh, I had skirmishers here then. Now we could shoot them in the back and see if that matters. It may not. Oh, oh, oh. I should have got those skirmishers back faster. Uh, I don't think I will, so I think I'm going to take a morale penalty for it. And honestly, yeah, I should recall all my skirmishers at this point. So yeah, it's going to be a little rough here. It's going to be rough for Cooper, but that is the nature of the thing. Winter is coming, so I will send them back to replenish. I have no idea what manpower is going to be like, but... Oh well. I was hoping we might be able to drive a wedge here and they might be able to do something. I... Oh, I don't know, man. Well, we seem to be rattling off some casualties, so... And we haven't... That brigade... If they are shooting at my flank, they're doing it from a ways away. We've taken flanking fire, and we're outflanked. I'm not really sure where that flanking fire is. It must be way down here. Let's see if we can still do stuff while laying down. 
Because we just took about 250 casualties in uh, maybe an hour of fighting. Alright, Cooper has done his part. Bring him back. I guess Clark's in the way, so he's going to have to move back as well. Maybe the Cav can move over here. And I mean, Holmes just kind of hung out, so... Oh well. Where are we here? This has gone really long as an episode, but I don't know why I thought this was going to go shorter. It did not as it turns out, but, uh, I'm kind of eager to end it. I got a cup of coffee to get to, and, uh, I don't want that thing to burn. Oh, so this is gonna be... This is kind of like, actually, the aftermath of Chickamauga. So this is the microcosm, where just both armies are gonna end up retreating from each other, but this is more tactical, and that was more strategic. Anyways, I digress. Let's throw out some skirmishers. Uh, my go-to here. Alright, we have these guys out. We'll send them up to go do stuff. Now, if we send out skirmishers from Cooper, where do they go? So, I don't understand why they move like, we're still facing the enemy, so you would send skirmishers out to your front, which is still facing the enemy. Weird. Alright, thanks for nothing. Whoever this dude was. Tribute. Then again, your brigade. Good as it is, it uh, probably explains why you have no troops. Alright, Chilton. Others have begun to move back, so you can as well. Well rested, well rested, winded. Alright, well. Okay, Tribute ain't mine, Grayson ain't mine. Are these their... no? Where are me skirmishers? Oh no. Alright, so now it looks like we're getting real close. I know Hughes is doing morale things. Alright, well, there, there are some lost skirmishers. That happens. Oh, nope, they've been found. There they go. They're gonna go right over there. Uh, Cooper's okay. Chilton's getting a little worse for wear. We'll recall them. They're gonna route, I think. All right, we've done our part. Others are going to have to pitch in here. Uh, but we certainly dealt with, somehow, the initial thrust in our front. Unfortunately, we weren't able to drive a wedge between those two. There was no follow-up. These brigades have just kind of sat around and done nothing, so... Yikes.
Okay, you're Cooper. All right, fine. Clark. Back. And Chilton new. Chilton, you're not advancing. You're falling back still. Yeah, your skirms may route. That's okay. That is okay. And maybe the victory points will carry us. I don't know. I wonder if there ever was a push over here on the right. Yeah, I mean, considering so little of our army was actually involved, only certain parts were heavily involved, which is, you know, consistent with the history of several Civil War battles. It's not, not crazy. Okay, Cooper, fall back. Okay, those aren't mine. What are we doing here? It looks like they're falling back. Even though we've seen... There we go. All right, so we are about to be done with this one, finally. One brigade there. That would have been a nice pick. But... All right, 10,000 on their side, 7,000 on ours. Let's see what the... Uh... Full reports are. I know I have an edit I have to make in the files after this, and that is to basically get rid of the support change from overcrowded prison camps because right now it's going to make the game unendable. I'm not sure that's a word, but that's that's going to be the implication. All right, so they had 1,500 that ain't come back, so they have 3,500 that ain't coming back, and we have about a thousand who aren't coming back. So. Got a bunch of rifles. I don't think there's any way for me. Well, they must already calculate that they're the best rifles available. So, okay, that's fine. All right. So for this, I think I'm all set. Uh, it's not quite to winter quarters, so we're not going to send anybody home to replenish yet. But I think come November, whatever's left is going to try to try to go back and, and replenish and hopefully uh when winter when springtime spring campaign season starts up we'll uh have a much better much stronger division and uh we're not really close anywhere to, to getting a hold of a core never mind an army so uh, that yeah even in a battle like that where we probably took well over I'm probably close to 1500 casualties we got, what was that, 600, 700 prestige? Ooh, I hate to think of the casualties we're going to have to do to, to get that prestige, so maybe we'll have to look for some other ways to do it. Anyways, this went long. Uh, it's, I think, still, inter still interesting for me, and uh, yeah, I hope to bring you back for episode 7.